Keto Fam. We're going to test my favorite bulletproof coffee, Keto Coffee, this morning. So let's get our blood glucose reading and blood ketone reading. Eighty-three this morning. Let's go ahead and see what the ketones are. This is extremely hard to do with one hand. Shouldn't say extremely hard. It's just kind of annoying. All right, what are you thinking? I figured it'll be at least 0.8 or above. 1.2. Awesome. All right, so there's our starting point. Quick reminder, don't get hung up on like measuring things out perfectly, especially if there's something like, uh, you know, like Kerrygold butter or coconut oil or something like that. If you know it's for sure keto friendly, it's not gonna be perfect. And I'll be honest with you, when you're putting stuff in my fitness pal, it's not gonna be perfect, just ballpark it. Ballpark's better than nothing at all. So anyway. I would typically have eight ounces of coffee in there, but I guess I only put six, so there's that. We're going to do roughly one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. I think this is unsalted. It doesn't matter if you do salted or unsalted. Um, this is probably more than a tablespoon. It's probably about one and a quarter, one and a half. I'm going to let that melt real quick. All right. And what we're going to do here, since this is a bigger spoon, just gonna kind of dip it like that. Oh, need to film what I'm filming. Uh, so that's around a teaspoon, something like that. Again, I'm not too concerned about that. I know it's ballpark. Now we're gonna add our heavy whipping cream after we've, uh, you know, uh, hit it with the magic bullet. Um, I'm gonna say that's probably at least two tablespoons, somewhere around in that area. I'm about to drive to work. I'm going to drink my coffee like a regular person how I normally would when I go to work, and I'll make sure and record what time it is when I stop drinking that coffee, and we'll go an hour from that time. So, here we go, let's drive to work. I finished my coffee at 6.45, it's currently 7.45. Um, let's check the blood glucose first. Sorry, I had to push a little bit more blood out there. It has went down. I think it was 83 before. I'm not 100% sure. Let's check our ketones. Also, let me push some more blood out my finger. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Yep. Okay. So I think we started at 1.2 or 1.3. 1.9. So it definitely went up. That's a good thing. Real quick while it's on my mind. Uh, one thing I noticed that I didn't really care for with all this testing stuff is I feel like I shouldn't drink water for those like the two hours during the testing uh, period. And I drink a lot of water, so for me to not have those two entire bottles of water on the way to work, it kind of sucks for me because I'm dying of thirst. Like I, I just want to drink something so bad. But uh, we've only got uh, 23 minutes left before I can test. But I have to train some people at work. There's three of them. I don't know how quick I can get it done, but I'll test it as soon as I get back. I'm guessing it's probably going to be closer to like the two hours and 15, two hours and 30 minute mark. It doesn't really matter, right? I mean, it's pretty much, it's whatever, right? Anyway, see you then. Okay, so I'm back to work. We're about to go test our blood. It's gonna be about two and a half hours in. I'm not gonna talk while I do that because I'm gonna have to do it at my actual desk. I can't wait to drink some water. Um, today is gonna be the first day in a couple days or so that I did what I call fat fasting. So had the keto co coffee in the morning. Um, I sh I'll, I'll put like a little thing up saying how I made that coffee. I know I showed you on video, but at least you can see it in text form. Um, but uh, 
so I'll have the keto coffee in the morning, and then I won't eat until after I get back from the lunch. So, from lunch, so that's gonna be 12 or 1 o'clock. I usually take lunch at 11, and go to the gym. So that is my typical day: is starting the day with my fat drink, my keto coffee, bulletproof coffee, whatever you want to call it, and then not eating until lunchtime. So my actual first meal of the day with like protein and stuff like that in it would be lunch, and then I usually have a snack. Sometimes I don't. It just depends if I'm hungry or not. If you're hungry, eat. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Don't force yourself to eat. Like if it's one o'clock and you haven't eaten today, go to three or four before you eat. Don't eat when you're hungry and don't eat when you are aren't. Today's your birthday. I wish I'd have known that. I brought something. Yes, happy birthday. Yesterday was Jet's two-year-old birthday. Did y'all go out and eat and eat Following up on that blood test just then, um, so the first ketone one that I tried to take, I didn't wait for it to like start flashing that little blood drop. I did it too quick. I basically put it in there and just put my blood on it too quick and it didn't have time to read it. So that was the problem with that. Um, uh, the reason I did that third one is because I used the blood from the first prick and I just wanted to make sure that that old blood wasn't giving us a bad reading. So I guess going further, we don't really have to worry about pricking ourselves twice to get that blood reading. Because I know I was reading somewhere, oh, after five seconds, you should re-prick your finger. I don't really believe that because the, the, the number was about the same. I just realized I never ended yesterday's uh, vlog. Um, also did not upload the vlog. I made the video and forgot to upload it, so I'm gonna do that here in just a minute. Um, uh, Takeaway from yesterday, as far as ketones go, as you notice, our ketones didn't jump up super high from 1.2. But then again, we were already at 1.2, so, you know, yesterday we started at 0.8, had one tablespoon of coconut oil, and then we jumped up to 1.5. So we were already, you know, I, I'm not going to say low, but it was, you know, under the one point range. But we started at 1.2 yesterday and we went up to like 1.5. So I feel like that 1.5 is kind of like the top area, like it's not going to go higher than that for any reason. But again, a takeaway from that is that one tablespoon was enough. So for the people that I, I know that don't really they don't like drinking the keto coffee and they don't want to, oh, two tablespoons is a lot, the fat tie and all that stuff. One tablespoon was enough. However, if you have that high amount of fat like I did in my keto coffee, um, I feel like it keeps me satiated for most of the morning. So therefore I can wait even longer to, um, you know, eat lunch. So it's all about what you want to do. It's not going to hurt to have more fats. Um, I did a study on, you know, dairy and, you know, not having dairy in my diet and my ketone levels were way higher without the dairy. I lost weight quicker. It was just, it was better for me to cut out the dairy, but at the same time, you don't have to do that. I mean, I get it. This, this diet is restrictive. So, you know, if you don't want to cut, cut out dairy, don't cut out dairy. Um, other thing, just remember, don't 
if you're using one of those ketone blood meters, wait until that little blood drop flashes before you put your blood on the strip, because if not, it'll do that E-U or C-U, whatever the crap that was, and, and it messed up, and I just wasted that strip. But I have something really fun to test tomorrow. It's new. I've never had it. You're going to get my uh, taste test reaction and everything about it. So um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, and we will test that product out. Until then... Keep it keto.